Hey guys, so today I'm back with another reaction video. It is one that is suggested by Sammy Heath. Who else but him? <laughs> um, he asked me if I could react to There's a vid by Spooky for You. It's too spooky for you called Eight Creepy Things Caught on Doorbell Cameras. Check it out if you can. So I'm gonna do that now. Um it's like eleven minutes or twelve minutes or whatever, so not that, that bad of a length. When when I said eight stories, I was like, oh god, this is, this is gonna be like an hour long, but no, it's like 11, 12 minutes, not bad at all. So, and who is it by? It's by Blue Spooky or something. I'll put the uh, suggestion thingy somewhere here or whatever the, whatever the hell. <clears throat> and uh, after I edit this video, I'm gonna go outside because today it's actually nice outside. Like, oh my god, Jesus Christ, I did not. That was not a good idea. I'm, I'm, I'm blinded now. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Um, if you want to turn, that'd be nice. Thanks. Okay. So yeah, without further ado, is the volume up? Okay, let go. Home security has evolved over the years. Along with alarm systems, the popularity of doorbell cameras that send alerts to your phone that let you see who is at your door, even if you're not at home, has grown and That's become cool. very consumer accessible. While most people don't really need to worry about anything strange happening outside their home, the popularity of these cameras has led to some chilling footage that would otherwise never be seen or known to happen. That's creepy. These are just some of the most creepy things caught on doorbell cameras. Oh god. Number 8. Creepy guy. Creepy guy. In September of 2018, a video was released of a man standing outside a home mumbling incoherently to himself late at night. What? What are you doing? That's so creepy. It's like making us. Oh my god. His eye looks so. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't. I literally don't. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say to that. Like, what? He then knocks on a window before returning to the camera to continue his rambling. Oh, God. What time is it? There's no time. It just, it's, it's nighttime, obviously, so... It's like he's trying to look inside. It's a camera. It's not a window. That looks like he's an alien or something. It's like his eyes look... Like, oh my God. What's he saying? That's all I hear. Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I don't know what to say to that. I'm, I, he goes back to the window where it appears he tries to force it open. Then you can hear a woman inside shout that she's calling the police. And the man states that he is just looking for his doll named Fido. That, that's why you're trying to break in the house. Okay, I'll, I was looking for my dog, Fido. Fido? Is that a phone company? <sighs> Whoa. You don't have to get all like that stuff, honey. Well, what do you think I'm going to do? Could this man like... be having some sort of psychotic break? Probably. Or is he just a wandering tweaker? Let me know what you think. Okay, now, now I think I need a doorbell Number camera. Number seven. Strange figure. On March 6th, 2018, YouTube channel Steno Graphics uploaded a video captured by their doorbell camera showing something a bit strange. If you watch the right side of the footage, you can see a figure appear to duck out of the frame as the motion light comes on. It has been speculated that the figure is actually a gray alien sneaking around the property. The homeowner attempts to recreate the motion of the figure the next day, but is unable to match the speed in which it moves. So did they capture evidence of an otherworldly prowler? Or is it this just a case of mistaken like it seems identity? Like in a millisecond. What? One thing is for certain, it certainly is a bit unsettling. Yeah, just a little bit. Damn right. Number Clowning six. Around. Clowning around. No, no. 
Back in the fall of 2016, a strange trend began. Oh yeah, I remember that. Numerous reports of creepy clown sightings started pouring in from across the country. In one particular case in Green Bay, Wisconsin, a doorbell camera is activated and you can see the figure of a clown holding balloons, standing in the shadows. Oh, oh I didn't know. I thought, he proceeds I thought to walk up to the door and stares into the camera in an unsettling way. Oh my god. Oh, that's so creepy. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, stop it! Okay, don't. Don't look at me. Stop it. I don't like clowns, okay? I don't like, I don't, no. Just their face, like, I don't, I know it's not the actual face, but like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a clown face. Then like, just as soon as he appeared, he walks away, taking one last look at the camera before disappearing around the corner. It's like they, it's like they know it's a camera, so, so like, So, was really this now. just someone trying to spook a neighbor? Or did this clown intend to do far more worse than that? One thing is for sure, this doesn't help clowns be any less creepy. Number five, oh, no. Stalking Burglar. In 2016, the Gerber family from Milford, Connecticut, were vacationing in New Jersey. And I was only night one. That someone was at their door back home. Before they left, they had just installed the front door security system, and it surprisingly didn't take long to pay off. During the week they were on vacation, a masked man wearing a New York Yankees baseball cap tried to break into their home three different times. They decided to send the footage to the local police and even reach out via social media and the local news to help find the would-be burglar. Three. Or at least scare him into leaving their house alone. This, however, wasn't the case as the man returned two more times. But luckily for the Gerbers, the second time, police were actually staking out the house and caught him. The man was discovered to be 62-year-old Walter Denique. He has since been charged with third-degree criminal trespassing and interfering with police. Number four, Rifleman. On September 10th, 2018, oh in Florida, around 11 p.m., a random man wearing a bulletproof vest and carrying a semi-automatic rifle rings the doorbell of Leah D'Erico's home while she and her two daughters, ages 17 and 12, were at home. Her husband was away on a business trip when she and him were both alerted to the movement outside their home. The man staggers around outside the home, seemingly drunk, even covering up the camera, while Leah and her daughters hid in the bathroom, fearing for their lives. Yeah, I would too. Shit. She and her husband both called the police, oh but the God. man was gone after police took a whole 25 minutes to arrive to the property. The man was later identified as their neighbor, no. Kevin Flatterby, and arrested on three accounts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. The family has Shit. stated that their neighbor had always seemed kind of strange. Well, this is was recently having his though. own family issues, leading to his daughter leaving the home due to him brandishing the same weapon in their home. It is a good thing that they had a door camera installed, because if they didn't and Leah answered the door, it's hard to think about what might have happened. Yeah, shit, that's actually terrifying. Number three. Shackled girl. Oh my god, what? Shackled. On August of 2018, a resident of Montgomery, distress. Texas, called the local sheriff's department, reporting a woman coming to his door in the middle of the night. What alarmed the resident is that the woman had no shoes, wearing only a t-shirt, and appeared to have what looked like shackles attached to her wrists. After the video released, some residents believed she could be a local missing person, but it was later discovered that she was a victim of domestic abuse when oh, police shit. responded to a suicide by the woman's boyfriend. Oh, shit. Dennis Collins detailed why he took his life and what happened between him and the woman in a suicide note he left behind. And the woman was taken to a family member's home to recover. So why she Specific details of what transpired have not been released, and the identity of the woman has not been released for her protection. Definitely a sad story but at least the woman was able to escape whatever situation she was in. Peeping Tom. Number two, Peeping Tom. Now this next one isn't necessarily a doorbell camera, but rather just a CCTV system. So it's a Though camera. this is just so creepy, I had to include it. On August 7th, 2016, in Arvada, Colorado, a resident contacted the police stating that he had security footage of a middle-aged man peeking into the window of his then 17-year-old daughter's bedroom. Oh, shit. When reviewing the footage, police could see the man peeking in the window, 
and what makes this footage even more chilling, he then attempts to open the front door. When he finds that the door is locked, he returns to the window to continue watching the teenager. Thankfully, the man was identified as 36-year-old Garrett Brown and was arrested for criminal trespassing and criminal invasion of privacy after the video of the creeper went viral and Good. he was identified by someone who recognized him. Good. What makes this really chilling is the fact that he checked the front door and it's hard to think what he might have done if he had found that it was unlocked. Let this just serve as a lesson that no matter how safe you think your neighborhood might be, it is always a good idea to make sure your door is locked, even if you are home. Keep everything Before locked we get down. to number one, I'd just like to take a moment and ask, if you're enjoying the video, that you please give it a like. Well, and to be honest, it's like to frankly quite stunning like and wanting me to get a freaking bullet camera and click now. the bell icon to be notified of the next time I upload. You can also follow me on Twitter at too spooky for you 5 also, if you would like to support the channel directly, consider donating to us on Patreon at Too Spooky For You YT. All donations go to helping the channel grow and get better, and there are also some stretch goals that, if reached, will help fund a documentary on a local legend known as Ray Myers Hollow. Thank you for your support. Number one. Oh, doorbell liquor. Doorbell liquor. I I think I've seen this one. While some footage caught by doorbell cameras are scary and strange, this next one is just downright bizarre. On January 8th of 2019, a camera awesome. at the California home of Sylvia and Dave Dungan caught a man walking up to their house as he proceeded to lick the doorbell yeah. for around three hours. I literally saw this in the news. I saw Police the news. also say that the man relieved himself in the yard and visited another house in the neighborhood where it is assumed that he also licked that house's doorbell. What? It is also claimed that the man stole an extension cord used for Christmas decorations. Sylvia and her husband weren't home during the incident, though their children were sleeping inside the home. The man was later identified as 32-year-old Roberto Araro and faces charges of petty theft and prowling. What makes this especially creepy is he's that he seems to know that he is being filmed by the yeah, doorbell he's camera, the camera as he stares directly into it he's like, as he goes to town on the doorbell. So what led to Roberto going around licking doorbells? Was it some strange fetish? Or could it be drug related? What do you think? One thing is for sure though, there are definitely some creepers out there, and they probably always have been, but are now being exposed as surveillance technology becomes more widespread. And there you have it. Eight creepy things caught on doorbell cameras. Do you have any stories of your own like this? If so, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to share this video to show people that they aren't always as safe as they think they might be. Also check out some of our other videos where we cover some paranormal happenings caught on CCTV, as well as some recent compelling videos of Bigfoot. As always, stay spooky. Just not doorbell licking spooky. Until next time. Okay, so again, that last one, the, the doorbell liquor, I did see that in the news, and they showed my mom, my mom and sister, and they're like, what? Like, I remember seeing that, yeah, January 2019, yeah, that was actually quite recent, yeah, I do remember, I'm, I'm about though, that's really weird, I don't understand. And he's like, yeah, he's, he's looking directly at the camera. Like, like, okay, bye, <laughs> like, what are you doing, fam? Anyway, yeah, this, de this definitely makes me want to consider buying a doorbell camera, I'm just gonna go, go ahead and take a look. <laughs> Go ahead and take a look or something. Oh look, the doorbell rang. <laughs> How weird during a doorbell video. I hope I know I'm not. I hope I know I'm upstairs. So I'm, I'm knocking at the door. But is someone gonna get it? Okay, looks like I, I'm gonna get it. I'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, no, I do actually have some stories about like some stuff that happened. Like, the one with the rifle reminded me of when I was walking on a, on a on the main road. 
and I was just walking. 7, 8 p.m., I believe, in this in the warmer months. And some guy with a gun, with what appeared to be a gun, was walking around just, just so casually, just kind of like, arm just walking. I'm like, I try not to look at him and I try to just walk faster and stuff because I got nervous. Um, and I do remember my sister saying that I think one night she heard something on the door around like 1 to 3 in the morning. There was also that. And also, what's it called? Oh well, yeah, it was like 1 or 2 in the afternoon and I was watching my brother and I heard the door try to open and then it was locked, thank God. Otherwise, I don't know what the fuck. But it was locked, thank God. And then, yeah, and then the guy went away. But it, it, it wasn't caught on camera or anything, but... <sighs> yeah, anyway guys, I'm really gonna consider getting a security system now, and I've already considered it for months now. Just the money and like setting it up is like, oh, and then technical difficulties and stuff, stuff like that, so it's like I didn't do it. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks Semi Heath for recommending this video, because it, it was actually a really good video. Kind of nerve-wracking, maybe, maybe a little nervous, but you know. <laughs> A good video overall. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what else you want me to react to. I will try to do that reaction to something that someone asked me to react to. I don't know what it was. It's like a 35-minute video or something. Um, I can't find it right now, but I, I'll try. I'll, I'll try to do that for you guys tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out, guys, and stay safe. <laughs>